Hi, I'm Ryan Geek for Review or Die, and this is my review of Ghostbusters. Well, let's get this out of the way, as I need to get back to searching for Pokemon, and I'm only half a kilometre away from hatching my next egg. But yes, I was one of those people who wrote off the new Ghostbusters film as a terrible idea, with my opinion becoming even lower once I saw the first trailer. And it's sad that I have to say this, but no, it wasn't because the lead roles were being gender swapped. I don't hate women. I do hate Melissa McCarthy, that strange, unfunny goblin of an actress. But even her presence can be forgiven, as long as the rest of the film made up for it. After all, I despise that insane midget Tom Cruise, but still love both legend and interview with a vampire. And getting back to the whole gender flipping controversy thing, I've got to say that in this case it could be a rather interesting change, as it could provide commentary on the problems women face getting ahead professionally, especially in the fields of science. Now I was against there being a new Ghostbusters film at all. It was a freak accident that it worked the first time, and they struggled and in my opinion failed with the sequel. So how could this new Ghostbusters work? Well, that was how I felt. And then I saw the film. And believe it or not, there's good news. I don't have unrivaled hate for McCarthy anymore. No, I hate everyone in this film. As always, I didn't find her funny in the least, but that's extended to all of the actors and jokes. I looked on dumbfounded as everyone around me in the cinema laughed loudly at these jokes that were apparently hilarious. Worst of all was Chris Hemsworth. He plays the cartoonishly stupid secretary for the Ghostbusters, and his stupidity is supposed to make us laugh. But I couldn't laugh, I was too busy trying to decide which planet or asylum the character had escaped from, for those are the only two reasonable justifications for his actions. One goof that sticks in my mind when a loud noise happens, and he covers his eyes. Yes, I'm being serious, that does actually happen in the film. I'm getting too worked up, so I'll move on to something else for a bit. It was nice that they remembered Ghostbusters was supposed to be a mix of comedy and horror, and they got the second one, at least partly. So there were a few jump scares, but what else could we expect? The opening scene was actually very attention gripping. It's just a shame the rest of the film failed to deliver. Okay, enough of that, trying to be nice. Yes, I was trying, shut up. The CGI in this film is too cartoony to be taken seriously. It looks like something from the live action Scooby-Doo film, which at least had the justification of being based off a cartoon. And yes, I rate Scooby-Doo much higher than this loathsome mess. The original stars are still breathing, of course, making an appearance each. And while I'll usually have the geek part of me shrieking glee for this sort of thing, here it just felt forced and cheesy. The worst offender being Dan Aykroyd as a cabbie refusing to run away and saying he ain't afraid of no ghost. Also I have to point out how bloody stupid the big fight scene is. To incapacitate the ghosts, they don't, you know, blast and trap them like Ghostbusters should do. No, they use their weapons to mostly flip ghosts over, which in some way knocks out or defeats them. In what universe does that make sense? These non-corporeal beings being beaten into submission physically. And you know how I said at the start of this review that there was a potential for interesting commentary based on a female point of view? Well, it's like they knew that, but even then, threw out those ideas for some crappy obvious symbolism instead, i.e. Chris Hemsworth being the hot, dumb, blonde secretary, and the male villain being brought down by being blasted in the crotch. Oh god. Oh well, it's out now. I won't hold out hope this won't get a sequel, because knowing Hollywood, they've already greenlit at least three more. But I've seen it reviewed it and now can hopefully forget about it. So I'm off to play some more Pokemon Go and try to forget how films seem to be trying to ruin my childhood favourites lately. Wait, what? No. No. No!